Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerush Couture TV. Today's video is a little different actually. I am currently at my parents' condo. Uh, Masi and I escaped the heat. Um, unfortunately, our new house doesn't have central air yet. We've still got to get our air conditioning fitted in. Um, so it was very hot in our house and I didn't really want the baby in that heat. So we ran away here in the cool of the air conditioning in this condo. Um, so that's where I am. I just want to say a massive Merry Christmas to everybody um, that celebrates Christmas out there or has their holiday seasons uh, at this time. A massive, uh, you know, happy holidays to you all and thank you for everyone's kind wishes to me on the holiday season. Uh, we had a lovely lunch over Christmas together as a family and Marcy had a lovely first Christmas. A lot of people wished him a first Christmas, which was so sweet. Um, so yeah, all my wishes to everyone out there. This is a what's in my bag Wednesday because I am sort of gonna try and do them every Wednesday-ish. Uh, so it is a what's in my bag, but it's not a bag as such because we kind of evacuated our house pretty quickly, not dangerously evacuated fire wise, but just heat wise, we ran out. I was grabbing things madly like Mussy's bags, my bags, and I was going to do a trade out to this beauty my be all and end all bag one bag tag my never for gm in the monogram i was gonna trade out from my chanel jumbo bag into this as a handbag but instead i just grabbed it and still have my jumbo and grabbed all of my toiletries which are actually in it because i i will trade out from my jumbo to it as a handbag but Today's video is a what's in my toiletries bag video instead of a handbag video. So that is what I will be doing today. I will be showing you what is in my toiletries that I just ran out of our house with because they're fully stuffed and I want to show you sort of capacity because I get a lot of questions about the toiletry 19, meaning how much can it hold? Can you use it as a clutch? Can you use it inside of the bags as a catch-all? That is a yes to all those questions. And how much does it hold? So I'll show you, I have done this before, but I'll show you again, because it's to capacity. Um, and then this is my new Nice BB uh, that I did a uh, unboxing. It was straight from Paris from my uh, personal shopper that I use, Hannah Sassy Kimchi here on YouTube. She's amazing. And I got this and I did an unboxing and I'm going to show you what it holds as well. Shout out to the beautiful Amanda Lux Mummy. She just did a what's in her Nice BB. She shouted out to me in her video. Hi babe. She was my inspiration for purchasing this. I saw her her unboxing and I was like die die it is so you know sort of cruise steamer Louis Vuitton luggage looking trunk style and I definitely wanted to get my hands on it is the new size of the niece uh, so I'm going to show you what it fits as well let's get into it because this might be a long we'll start with the niece because it's the biggest obviously so here it is this is it absolutely jam-packed and you can see that there is, well, on mine, which is brand new, no bulging, uh, no pulling, no tension. Uh, there tends to be a uh, um, recommendation that it can be um, a bit of tension on the handle where the chaps are connected to the canvas, not to put a lot of tension on those, to fill it, you know, so that it, because it's not reinforced up here, it's just canvas on the man-made lining. But you can see that there's really no tension at all uh, the bottom is flat I did have a question I think I think I got an email shout out to that subby hi love she asked me if it sits flat on the bottom well it does I would say this is very similar to when I do my review on the speedy 25 bandolier speedy 25 because it is a small uh, you know height versus width versus depth in a base shape it does hold it doesn't sag so up close again we have beautiful double zipper pulls all the way around the beautiful zipper so you flip it up this model is the bb so there's no mirror i think the bigger size has the mirror but that's a lot bigger so flip it up we have the flat 
compartment here with the zipper which I showed you in the unboxing. I have nothing in it except the booklet at the moment. I truthfully just grabbed this off my you know luxury wall which you guys see behind me and threw all of this in there just like so. I truly just chucked. I was sort of going at a million miles an hour so I just threw everything in here but it works. So first up my absolutely disgusting beauty blender. I apologize. It is so gross. That's my pink one. My black one, my pro, is in the bathroom. I used it. My perfume, I have to have an angel with me, so that's my angel. But my perfume that I'm mostly using is this gorgeous, gorgeous Jo Malone uh, blush, sorry, peony and blush suede. This is so nice. It really goes nicely with my skin. I did an unboxing of an online haul of it. We have some lip products on the side here that I just threw in. This is my NYX Butter Gloss in the Creme Brulee. This is a Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the Melted Chihuahua. I have a lot of compacts actually down in here. So I have my Milani Baked Blush in the Luminoso. I am really, really loving this. It's a super peach color. You're probably really familiar with it. I'll try and do it for you, one hand. You're probably really familiar with Milani Baked Blushes, but it's so beautiful and it's got a really dewy kind of finish and not too intense, which I like. Today, however, I have my Napoleon uh, Pilot palette. Is that what it's called? Napoleon, it's a blush, yeah. Blush Patrol, that's right. I've had this, I've had like three of these. I've had this ever since I started YouTube and it's a beautiful baked mineralized blush with all different colors. I actually have this on my cheeks today and I have it on my lid in my crease and it's just so pretty. I used to put it all over my lid when I first sort of started YouTube as well. I have a really ratty, probably dead pair of Socialize uh, Vixen lashes, which is what I usually wear all the time. I have a Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, which I really enjoy to set my under eyes to get a really, I like a really, it's not focusing, I like a really like white under eye. Um, so this gives me that effect and it's really really pretty. So that's that. Oh my goodness It's like compact city down here. Okay, then I have my Mac um, Blush this is give me Sun in the mineralized skin finish from Mac and I have my beloved Becca Cosmetics uh, high skin, illuminating skin finish highlighter by Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. Lastly, I have my Marc Jacobs translucent powder in the zero, uh, zero, 100 finish line. It's just plain translucent setting powder. And then this is hilarious, but this is the rest of what is down inside here. Yes, probably not the best way to throw everything down inside meaning this is my brush jar and I literally threw it in here sideways was I worried about it being stained on the inside a little bit I was like oh no will my foundation brushes go on the lining but hey at the end of the day it's wipeable and you got to use it right let's quickly have an eyeliner this was my mistake actually this is the um um, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definition pencil and it was a mistake I wasn't planning on getting it but I actually really like it, it was a mistake that went well I have in the way of miscellaneous things down inside then I have this guy it is in here sideways and it is full of my what looks to be incredibly dirty but in fact I only cleaned them like a week ago that's just how much I pile on brushes we have a mixture of oh there's another lip product there's another melted Too Faced and this is the melted peony and then I have a mixture of MAC brushes, I have Real Techniques brushes, I have um, some of my, who are these guys, what are they called? Sigma, that's right, Sigma brushes and then I usually always have some tweezers on the side and this sits on my vanity. Oh, there's another lip product in here. There's my lip liner that I have on now. This is my combo that I always rock, which is my NYX 
my um, my NYX uh, lip pencil in the um, suede, nude suede shoes. A lot of people always ask my lip combo on videos and it's these two. So Revlon in the 570 Smoky Topaz, the Revlon HD Lacquer and that lip liner is my combo on my lips. So yeah, finishing off that is all my brushes down inside there and obviously we just freaked, grabbed the, the whole jar and just shoved it in here. For the bottom, I, I still have an Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the Palme. This is an Ebony, which is obviously black, but it works for me when I'm doing my uh, brows and I want to do them in pomade. Um, not a pencil. I like it. It is very intense and does make them very, very, very dark, which my mum's like, it's not flattering on you. So thanks mum. We just have three palettes that are always sort of standing up. I always stand my palettes up as best I can because you don't want to crack your palettes. That is the worst. Hands down the worst thing ever when I first started getting into makeup from YouTube. I smashed so many palettes and I was devastated. This is a new palette I picked up off uh, Crush Cosmetics. It's a sleek palette. The reason I got this is it's a little secret, but there is an item I really, really thinking of getting for down inside my bags and I wanted a contour highlight and blush to go in it because it's a nice compact size and the sleek palettes are so beautiful. They're in this matte finish with sleek on them and I really like that. I'm enjoying the highlight and the contour. The blush is probably too pinky for me, but nevertheless, it's really pretty. These are the two last palettes. They're my eyeshadow palettes from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my Modern Renaissance palette, which I adore. It's all of the shades that I love. Earthy tones, dark tones, um, those sort of terracotta tones that was also in my Shadow Couture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The same sort of colors. Uh, with a few pops of color in there and I love those for my eyes. So that is this Nice BB Empty. There are two flat pockets here which you could pop anything in, bobby pins, maybe some uh, Q-tips to do your makeup or whatnot, maybe pat like you know eye makeup remover pads uh things like that in these slip pockets up in these pockets same sort of thing but that is it empty all of that stuff came out of it which I just shoved in there and we didn't we didn't get any clear staining there's a little bit of marking from where the brushes were against this wall but if I get a water wipe or a baby wipe I'm sure it will come straight off there is not a lot of worry about this item especially vachette wise the only thing is I will say if you are putting makeup in it like I am and you do your makeup don't turn around especially after using a beauty blender and grab this or putting mascara on and maybe have mascara on your fingers and grab this because I could see this handle staining up a lot because of that because I try not to handle my canvas a lot after I do my makeup I tend to wash my hands thoroughly before picking up my cosmetic cases because canvas gets a lot of fingerprints from foundation alrighty and lastly I'm gonna finish off with showing you what is down inside this guy. This is the Louis Vuitton Toiletry 19 in monogram canvas. And it comes in three sizes, 15, 19, and 26. The 26 is a lot bigger. Uh, I have thought about the 26 uh, for, you know, extra toiletry needs, but to be honest, I say this every video. <laughs> I really don't need any more pouches and cosmetic cases and stuff like that, but I am truly addicted. I would happily collect all of them and it would make me so happy, even over having a bag. Like, I know they're very expensive for what they are. Some people don't collect SOGs as much or like bag charms as much because I'd rather save all that money and get a handbag, uh, which I can understand. But for me, the use and cost per wear of an SOG, especially a pouch, or a case or a cosmetic bag or a toiletry is just out of this world. I really get such great use out of them. So here it is, uh, and that is, actually, I will show you the patinas next to each other. So that is its <laughs> lovely honey patina there on the side. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. 
So there you go, that is holding two vachettes next to each other. This is a uh, sun and oxidize and humidity oxidized piece of vachette untreated cowhide leather and this is a new piece of uh, untreated cowhide leather in its natural state if I sit and have it in this big sunny window and especially the humidity in Sydney in Australia it will start to turn this honey color if you don't know what patina is that is what patina is it is the natural oxidization of this raw untreated cowhide leather i did just get another email from a subby hi doll she just picked this up and she was asking me does mine sit flat because hers has uh like the bottom here is kind of oval does that make sense so it's up like it, it goes around like so that is because it is brand new that is because it hasn't had a chance to be molded to sit flat and it is not stuffed so once you start to pack it and stuff it it will eventually just form a flat base and sit flat like so it is the top zip closure and it is very full what's so great about this toiletry like a mini pochette is it's got this extra length on the zipper pull so the actual zipper length is almost like if that was back in fashion college it would look like a mistake like why didn't you take it to the end of the canvas but they took it all the way so it gives you extra length which i think is quite cute and people love that like it's like a tongue so if i open this up you can see down inside straight away you can see it's very jam-packed uh again i threw everything in here to just run out of the house so it's a bit miscellaneous my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm loving this mascara. I think this is empty. I need another one. I think I've gone through two now. So that's my second one. On top still, I have my MAC Fix Plus. This comes everywhere with me just because it is such a great setting spray and it makes you really super dewy and just feel nice, especially if you feel sticky. Then I have my uh, Duo Set Dry Dark Glue for my falsies. And then my tweezers that I put my falsies on with, that's there. Then I have on the side here, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit palette, always standing upright. That is it there. I love this thing. It is such a great palette. If you're starting off with contouring and highlighting, I suggest that. And then usually I either have, uh, I have all skincare usually in this. So I know it's my skincare. Uh, toiletry that everything in here is for my face usually so right now the two foundations that I am using is a Maybelline fit me uh, dewy the Maybelline fit me dewy foundation and the matte poor <laughs> poor matte and poreless foundations these two fit me i have hauled them before from priceline from a drugstore and i really love them today i have the dewy i have the dewy oh it's the dewy and smooth sorry on today and they are both in the color 120 which is classic ivory that fits me perfectly and then for the rest down inside here they're just face products we have the l'oreal um infallible primer yes matte mattifying primer i do like this primer a lot when i'm just kind of going basic sorry i can just hear my son <laughs> i can just hear Mussy in the background when my mum's just walked in with him from a walk uh, but then if I want to kind of go zhuzh, I really love the L'Oreal Lumi Magic. This is like the pearlescent primer I've shown you in another video, I think. And it's really nice and it's super like mattifying, but with a glow. So your foundation goes on really nicely. This is the infallible 24 hour matte L'Oreal infallible foundation, but I bought it in the wrong color. It's 24 golden beige but I use it anyway and I mix it in if I want to sort of not put as much bronzer on or whatnot. I mix this into my ivory foundations and it goldens it up straight away so I can use less powders. Lastly, I have my Fit Me Maybelline Concealer and this is in the 
Fair Claire 15, so it's really, really super fair. And that is what I will conceal with and then set with my Laura Mercier translucent powder to give a really bright white under eye because I really like that look. So that is the toiletry 19 completely empty as well. Alrighty, that is everything that was down inside these two toiletry items that I wanted to show you guys, especially the Nice BB. I know I unboxed it and I want to show you what it fits. I have not used it to be honest at all this was the first time I was running out of the house throwing everything in it so I'm really impressed with what it holds I'm super impressed with just the luxe of it it's so luxe it's so beautiful and you know mum saw it and she was like this is cute it's just such a pretty little Vuitton item you know it's very iconic trunk feeling Vuitton. So if you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so guys, that would be great. I will see you in my next video. Take care, peace.